Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. Who created one year ago Linejo's 19.1 Android 12L custom GSA video for Galaxy Tab A. There we did the complete review, how to flash, complete overview of all the features and bugs. You can watch that video from the link under the video description. After that, I tried several Android 13 treble GSA but none of them booted on our device. So we decided to give all the custom treble GSA update reviews for these and any supported devices. Today we will flash the latest 8 may build of Linejo's 19.1 and .12L and we will do the complete review of this build. To flash this you need the PHS treble compatible A64 binder AB device. I am using the Galaxy Tab A10.1. You can use the PHS treble application given under the video description to confirm if this device specification are matching with your device or not. Download the ROM exit file given under the video description, extract it, it will give you the image file. Transfer that in your device or you can use the USB OTG and pen drive storage as I am using in this video. Boot your device in the latest TWRP, Galaxy Tab users boot their device by long pressing the volume up plus power button. When Samsung logo flashes two times then leave all buttons. Phone will boot to the TWRP. Now connect the USB OTG and pen drive which has Linejo's image file. Now tap mount, check mark the USB OTG. Now tap select storage, select USB OTG. People who have working internal storage of the device can skip all of these steps. They can directly tap on install, then tap on install image option available at the right bottom. Then locate your Linejo's image file, tap on it, then check mark the system image and then slide the bottom bar. Once flashing gets successful, remove the USB OTG. Now tap on the wipe option, then tap on the format data, then type yes and slide the slider. This will erase all your data on your phone. Users who are already using our old Linejo's custom build, they can skip the formatting step. So your device data will be remain safe. Now this is the most important step, tap on the mount. You will see you can't able to mount the system partition. So to mount that, check mark the button option called as mount system partition as read only. Now we are able to check mark the system partition, similarly check mark all the partitions like the vendor, product, cache, data etc. Now tap on the reboot, select system. That's it, phone started to boot into the Lineage's logo. Today in this video we will see what's new gets in the about phone of this latest GSI. What's new addition has been done by the Lineage's developers. At last I shown previous bugs that were fixed in this build or not with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado. Let's get started. Phone booted to the setup screen. If you did the dirty flash, then your device will directly boot to the launcher without any setup screen. Device will boost to the Linejo's launcher. It's a clean and good looking launcher with the some important features. You can watch our old video there I discuss it in details for this launcher. Let's check out the about phone. Android 12 L has this dual screen of settings panel which looks cool. If you tap on the about device tab it's showing this is the Android 12. Actually this is the new Android 12 L but Android version name and easter egg is same like Android 12. This Linejo's build is built on the 8 May 2023. It has their own easter egg. Android security patch is of latest 5 May 2023. Old build we reviewed has the May security patches of year 2022. Kernel version is 4.4.177. Kernel version is same like old build. Baseband is the type of firmware version on the top of which we flash the GSI and I am using the latest CVL1 firmware version. Build date of this ROM is 8 May 2023. So by means of these custom GSI builds, you can upgrade your old device to the latest sources. Now let's check out what's new additional customization who gets in the new update. For full detailed review of all the features, please refer our old review video. Under the display who gets the dark mode and it's working well. Night light feature is available and it's also working. ROM has the live display setting, it has some color calibration setting which help us to tune the display color for better accuracy. Double tap to sleep the device is working, but you will get the double tap to wake the device feature under PHS treble setting and it's also working. Under lock screen tab you okay, the music visualizer and media cover art for the music playbacks, but I didn't test it, is it working or not, so please tell in the comment section is it working for you or not. 
Double line clock is the new setting which places the clock in the center with the big letters on the lock screen. But for this view, all the notification on the lock screen must be dismissed. Under the system and gesture setting, we get the system navigation option where we can enable the three dot menu or the gesture navigations and it's working very well. 100 mode has the new setting like the swipe to access the notification panel. Old swipe to minimize the screen is also working good. This is a very essential feature for such big screen devices. Another multitasking feature called as the taskbar is also available. To access this we have to long press on the empty space near taskbar to minimize and enable the taskbar. Who gets all the home screen dock application of the launcher here. Who can drag them to the currently running application to use them as a split screen. Who can minimize or expand any application here. This can be used as a multitasking window. In the old build it's available but it's not working well and it has lots of issues that time. But now it's working flawlessly. Under PHS table setting, you get lots of different customizations like the Samsung device specific features, those features, miscellaneous setting, etc. But IMS feature to enable the view LT function is not working for Samsung GSR builds. Some of important things are working here like DRM info showing the security level as L1. So we can able to use the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. It's surprising that even if device has the unlocked bootloader, still we got this working. It's not even working for my OnePlus 9RT, which has fully working custom ROMs. Next thing is that device storage is encrypted. It's very important security feature because if it's encrypted, then no one can decrypt and steal your personal data if your device got stolen or misplaced. So we did the thorough review of new build. For more detail, please refer our old video. Now it's time to show you the bugs or the issues in the build that were found for the old build too, like SeptiNet, when I tested SeptiNet, it's got failed similar like old build, so we can't able to use any security or banking application on this build. But you can root and follow our mod video link given in the video description to use banking and security applications on such devices. ROM has only 2G, 3G calling, no ULT calling will work if you are using the 4G network. Even IMS feature or PHS table setting can't be able to solve this because it's only meant for the Snapdragon and MediaTek devices. It will not solve the VOLT issue on the Samsung Exynos devices. Next, you can't able to access the internal storage on your PC or laptops. It's only working when device is in a TWRP mode. This issue is persisting in the old build too. Wallpaper and style applications didn't have themed icon or monet theming colors. Even while applying the wallpaper, this application may force close to download the wallpaper application from the Play Store when ROM first time boots. So we discuss all the things like how to flash the JSA build, its new features and the bugs. The bugs may vary as per device models. Performance of this build is definitely better than the stock Samsung sluggish UI. But there are some slight lags you may find for such Android 12 L builds. So that's it for today guys, if you like Rama work then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content, I will soon release the Android 13 custom GSR build review so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.